And as the world uh, is shifting towards AI, our next guest says this company is well positioned to capitalize. Joining us now is Qualcomm uh, CEO Cristiano uh, Amon, and it's good to, uh, Amon, good to, to have you on. Uh, Happy this to be here. And I, I'm having deja vu from an interview we just did with Palo Alto. We're, you need to work with me. You need to work so, so we at least have an idea of what you're doing. It's very arcane. Qualcomm has been uh, at a leading edge uh, chip company for a while, and that right there makes it hard for most of us to grasp exactly what, what is happening. And then you throw in the AI component, and it's, it's a mix that's, that's hard to explain. Will it help Qualcomm uh, with its competitors and, and go into the future and be even, even more successful? Yeah, absolutely, Joe. Look, the company, and I think probably most know Qualcomm from what we have done in the wireless uh, industry to every generation of wireless, but the company is really changing from, from a wireless communication company into a connected processing company in the semiconductor space. And what we're really excited is AI is just the new computing and, and uh, what's happening on the data center and you see with chat TPT and everything, we can bring this to every device. We can bring this to phones, we can bring this to PCs, we can bring this to cars and, and um, it comes as a tailwind for the company effort to diversify and grow. If you look at what we're doing in automotive, we're entering the PC space now building uh, the next Windows platform for Microsoft, and the ability to run AI on those devices is a great opportunity. Okay, so AI is helping you design the chips to do that, or you're selling into the AI market itself, or both? So our chips are going to run those large language models, those large visualization LLMs. models. We got the they're going to run, <laughs> and they're going to run in your phone, is going to run in your PC is going to run in your car. Um, just as an example, CS, we're back in uh, Vegas. We, in a partnership with uh, BMW, one of our customers, we had our Qualcomm concept car, and we had a large language model running on that chip with all the knowledge base from the car. So you have something in your dashboard, you just ask the car, what is this light? And the car explain what it is, tell you what the problem is, and ask you want to schedule an appointment, tell you the availability, look at your calendar and schedule that for you. That and would I think, be nice. Right. Well, yes. it, will it so then drive the car there and take care of it It's going to be a in how we work. interact with computing, and uh, we can do this in everywhere. You have a computer even in the palm of your hand. There was a time we talked about Qualcomm so much that, that we actually would play Qualcomm, because wow. we mentioned Thank it you. so much. Wow. And now we, I think we'd do NVIDIA if we did it. So you have had to transition the business, so, or, or at least the stock has been, it, it hasn't been the growth vehicle it was uh, for years and years in the last two or three years. How, look, how does it get back to, to that? Look, this is, uh, I think, the essence of why we're being so focused on diversifying the company. If you look where the stock trades, it trade uh, on the mobile market. The mobile market is great. It's a very big market, but Everybody has a phone, so it doesn't grow as much. But what we realize is some of the technologies that was the essence of with the company, which is uh, wireless communication, high-performance computing, and now the ability to do AI processing, could have different end markets, like automotive or industrial. And I think that's where we are. We're, we're happy to see that some of those markets, uh, in a short period of time, we're now working with every company in the automotive industry. So it's a kind of testimony to our technology. Over time, this become a larger component of our revenue, non-handset. We expect the stock to have a different performance, but AI is a great opportunity. And I, as I said before, it's a tailwind on what we're trying to do. I mean, the leading tech company, it's all about uh, reinvention. It, it, it always is. And, and you either reinvent or you turn into Novell or something, or I don't know, prime computer. Well, that's our story. Oh. I think we have been reinventing ourselves every generation. So the, the growth rate... In your view, we'll get back to some of the, some of the, the, the days gone by. If you, look, if you look at some of the new business for us, whether it's automotive, uh, industrial, I think our entry into the PC space, uh, the, the things we're doing with Meta, for example, with uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, all of those markets, they have double-digit growth rates. And I think that's really the opportunity for us as they get scale. And it's highly leveraged. We leverage the same exactly technology 
that the company has been developing. So who's your ideal, you go to colleges, what, what do you, who's your ideal candidate for, for a Qualcomm position? Well, we're, we're, we're a chip Can you company. Find uh, yeah, we, we, you know, Qualcomm is uh, in a unique place because we build CPUs, we build graphic processor units, we build neuroprocessor units, we build more wireless communication. All right, I can't so, do any of that. Yeah. So, yeah, so anybody that is interested in working in, in chip company and change the, the, the technology landscape, I think we want to hire those. And can you? Absolutely. Is the talent in, in you're finding enough STEM educated individuals in this country? Or we got we need we more? we I think that's a that's an issue that the entire tech sector has. I it's think uh, skilled immigration it's it's okay. important, and I think we have been hiring people globally. I think not only in the United States but all the different geographies as well. And it's not just me, Andrew. You're not going to work with Qualcomm, are you? No, none of us are smart. He hasn't offered me a job yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Cristiano, thank you. Thank you. Okay.